So we're back at it in the aftermath of the goblin invasion. Uh, nothing too crazy going on. Did check out the U Woods. Uh, looks like it's mostly kind of recipes, uh, slightly different textures, a few furniture things. I'm going to craft up a few of the regular U Wood walls here. See if they give me any kind of different vibe than a standard wood wall. Texturally, they look about the same, uh, but if there's a little bit of a color difference, then it might be worth looking at. Okay, time to stop by for a little bit of an update. So, you can see I've got a lot of the walling in done. Uh, that's a lot of things coming together. Um, I like the overall styling here. Uh, these are U wood fences, uh, one of the craftables from that new material we got from the invasion. Uh, they are going to act almost like little windows. Uh, I don't think I like the brown mixed in with the gray and the blue from the granite down here. Uh, but in the meantime, I, I, I think I like it better than just going straight glass, uh, just making it a full-on window. Uh, what I'll do eventually is replace this with a style of bar or, or fence that will blend a little bit better. Uh, but in the meantime, that's going to let a little bit of natural light in when, we, when the sun comes up. Uh, so I'm just going to finish cleaning up some of this. I'm going to add, I'm probably going to do more of a traditional window up here. Uh, just for simplicity, just because I have the glass wall to do it. Uh, and then I'll figure out what I want to do with this big space here. Open space, I feel like I need to accent some way. Uh, and then we'll get to work on kind of getting the staircase up uh, so we can access this upper level. And again, that's where all of the, uh, the alchemy is going to go. So uh, overall, going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. So once I get these windows in, once I get this kind of started, I'll get back with you and let you know where we're at. Next update coming at you, we have pretty much finished making the second floor all functional rooms. Uh, so we're just worried about the bottom floor at this point, uh, the three rooms there. And then we'll move down into the next build. Well, actually, no, I guess I'll need to get the top portion here set up. But we'll get there. Uh, it's coming along nicely. It's coming along pretty quickly. Uh, I'm starting to get people moving in. So we have three houses currently occupied. We'll have three more on the way. I might put someone here just to have them here. And then probably one more up here as well. So that'll get us to six, which is not... Well, actually, that would get us to eight. Because I think I can squeeze somebody in right here, although that's meant to be like a little gatehouse. I think the guide right there, just to welcome people in, uh, would be appropriate. Uh, I might get somebody in down here too, although this is probably going to be like my storage area. Uh, but if somebody can live there, we'll have somebody live there. So, going well. Uh, I got a traveling merchant. That's mostly why I stopped in to say hello to you guys. And we're going to see what he has. Okay. Uh, going to have to cop chop that tree down. Can't open the door outward because the tree is in the way. Uh, let's see. He does have some very good things. Very good things that I can't afford. Uh... The bricklayer is actually very good for building. Uh, the ammo box, as you can read, reduces ammo usage by 20%, uh, but I cannot afford it. Not without doing a little bit of work. Um, I doubt I will have enough items to sell to make it. I did sell a lot of what I got from the goblin invasion, but still not quite there. Two gold in the inventory and like eight, maybe eight gold in storage isn't gonna quite do the job. So I'll poke through here, see if there's anything that I could make a little money off of. If not, then I guess we'll just let him go. Um, yeah, even if I try to fight King Slime again, not gonna get enough money. So we'll just have to let that ride, I think. Uh, but we will. A lot of rain while I've been building this episode too. I don't know how much of that you guys will see, but lots of rain. Anyways, we'll get back to it. Uh, yeah, I'll get all of this stuff furnished, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is my plan. I was worried that this wasn't going to work, but it looks like this will do the job. Uh, there are these craftable blocks here called the Stone Pillars. Uh, it looks like I cannot jump on them or interact with them. But my hope is that I can work around them uh, with these granite platforms here. I'll need a few more than what I have laid out. But 
If I can work around these with the granite platforms, this is how I'm going to get my spiral staircase. Essentially, I'm just going to wrap them around in a specific pattern to make them... Uh, oh no, these have a maximum height. Ooh, these may have a maximum height. No, it's just not letting me place it here for some reason. Hmm. When they break with a pickaxe, they are intangible, so they act like background walls. Um, but this may be as high as these can go. Well, let me break out these platforms, see if I can. Platform over the top? No, they, they just kind of are there. Hmm. Place a platform there and there, but I can't place over the pillar. Interesting. So this has just got a little bit more complicated. I'm going to have to uh, do a little improv, figure out how I'm going to do this now. Uh, I can always just use a different material uh, and kind of simulate it that way. Uh, but this is just a nice effect. I do like these, actually. I'm probably going to incorporate them just kind of off to the side now, but yeah, the first plan was a bust. Okay, so I figured out a way to kind of cheat them. Uh, I was going to try and do kind of an offset staircase when the stone pillars started behaving a little strangely. Um, but looks like all I actually need to do is just have some walls behind it. I don't know why it won't let me place the pillar on top of the other pillar. This one acted just fine, so I don't know what the difference is. But looks like I can make this work. I'm just going to have to give it some back wall to hang on to. So... We'll get that sorted, and I'll show you what I'm working with. Getting the walls put together, and I've got another message. Uh, toxic downpour falls over the wasteland. Yeah, no idea what that means, uh, but sounds like something I don't want to mess with right now. Right now, let's just get the house put together. Let me throw down a torch so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Yeah, you'll see I'm just putting some back wall here and just running this straight up to the uh, the ceiling here. I'm going to punch that ceiling out and I'll kind of show you once I get it figured out how we're going to handle this uh, spiral staircase. Should be nice. Uh, I've actually just realized I cannot build a spiral staircase across Cross. I can't place blocks or platforms across the body of this pillar. Uh, so wherever it goes, it it just lives there. So we're going to have to figure something else out. For the moment, because I've been taking a little while doing this, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just make some regular platforms uh, just for jumping up. It uh, doesn't look too bad, just kind of as is. The only issue I'm going to have is it makes for pretty narrow, narrow going because I can fall down the center here. But it'll work for the moment, and I can definitely get up and down as I need to. So I'm going to take the rest of the platforms, and I'm just going to drop them right over the top here. You know, I got to looking at it, and I think I've realized I like this seven stone brick in here, and just on the lower floor in general, a little bit better than the gray brick walls. So in the main chamber here, I think I'm gonna gonna go with this. I'm gonna stick everything as this uh, ebon stone brick. So we're just gonna round all that out. Get a couple of these stray blocks still hiding around. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the, the main room here. Uh, the little bit bluer tones kind of blend better with the granite I have going on. Uh, I am going to dress up that just a little bit more. I've got a couple of odd spots. Break that down. But, yeah, I, I think I like this better. I'm going to try and get some lighting in here. Um got some daylight peeking through from somewhere um, but yeah I'll, I'll make this my next room and uh, we can kind of work from there uh, all this room really needs is this chair right here 
uh, and I guess a torch. But this will at least allow me to verify. This room may be too large to be housing. It is not. Our uh, cobbler is uh, just going to jump right in here. Um, that takes care of just about everybody. The painter still needs to move back in. He'll need a house. But we're, yeah, almost there. This has gone pretty well. Uh, once I get all the edits and cuts and everything done, I don't know how long this episode will wind up being. But, yeah, if it's a little longer, a little shorter, I'm not mad at it because we uh, accomplished both of our main goals today. So I'm just going to put on the last couple finishing touches here and add in some lighting. Uh, I don't know if I have enough granite left to do a lot. I used most of it. Uh, but, yeah, that's what I went with for this furniture down on the first floor. Most of it is granite. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with... Some of these candelabras because they'll sit oh so nicely on our little single platforms up here. That's why they live where they do. Boop. And just gives you a nice, nice little lighting effect like that. So with that, I can take down that torch. We'll add a couple more lights down here at the bottom. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I can do that. I might go with Boreal gives me something kind of tall. I'm a little bit darker. I think the boreal will go nicely here, but it doesn't look like I've got much. Why don't I have boreal options? That's odd. Uh, but we'll just grab some of these granite lamps for now. I can always move and shift and change things around, and I will probably do so. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, pretty happy with the build so far. Uh, of course, you guys... And feel free to let me know what you think if you disagree, if you have anything you would change. And I might, I might not, because overall this seems, uh, this seems fine. Well, there we go. I could probably stand to get maybe another light or two on either side here. Uh, but, yeah. So I think uh, I'll probably finish this up off camera uh, and it'll probably be done when I swing back around for the next episode uh, but depending on how things go maybe not I'll just have to I'll play it by ear if I feel like I get it done in time or if I get to editing and realize that this episode is still way too short uh, then I'll show you what I've got there but that should be a lot easier I'm not going to do anything too fancy up here it's going to be mostly glass uh, kind of going for a greenhouse look with it uh, so if I have enough yeah I'm going to need more glass walls to get that done uh, but yeah glass with a couple of uh, accents or kind of reinforcement structurally uh, and we'll be good to go um, once I get that set up that should be enough for my cobbler to move back or not my cobbler he just got here but uh, my painter to move back in uh, I'm gonna check with him and see what he has for sale uh, I do still want to paint some of these gray bricks uh, I don't know if I want to actually go through and convert it all to this Evanstone brick uh, I might just want to paint that just to get something a little bit different um, just to kind of mix it up a little bit uh, but nothing too fancy here, but overall, I feel like we've got a good start on this. So, well, with everything else polished off, I thought I would just go ahead and start getting some platforms into the greenhouse up here. But as it turns out, I cannot find my cactus anywhere. I can't imagine it's gotten lost in the piggy bank. It has to be here somewhere, but I just cannot put my eyes on it. I have these 30 cactus platforms, but that's not going to be enough for me to get everything done. Uh, I, I know I've got to be missing it in here. Uh, somebody's going to be yelling at the monitor saying, You idiot, you just missed it. It's right there. Uh, but yeah, I, I got nothing. Uh, I guess I'm going to check the piggy bank here. I don't think it's in my inventory. I've looked through that a couple of times. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, piggy bank will just sit right on this platform here and we'll check that out. Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm working with on the greenhouse up there. The greenhouse is just mostly going to be glass. And yeah, I just kind of given that greenhousey vibe um, where most of the planting is going to be going. A couple wings down here, the, the probably the more common stuff is going to go right across the top. Um, or right across the middle here and then I'll put some of the more niche plants that aren't going to get used quite as frequently up in the uh, 
in the spire here. Um, just because if I don't have to jump up there, I don't have to jump up there. But yeah, this one is not going to spend a ton of time going over because this is going to be one of the more pragmatic areas and I don't need it to be dressy. I want it to be just kind of a simple little capstone. And I am out of glass walls already. Yeah, I knew it was going to take a lot. I should have plenty to get the job done though. Glass walls, there they are. 216, probably overkill, gonna be more than enough for what we need to do, but. bits with uh, making the walls work with the with the angled stone here. So I may have to make some choices about aesthetically which way I want it to go. Probably going to leave it like that because at least this way I get full coverage. Alright, that'll do. I'm going to break out the last couple pieces that got a little overkill. Give me the wall. probably going to wind up moving that rope so it centers up a little bit just because uh, I've, I've got to be particular, you know. Okay. Uh, actually, don't even need to go to the chest. Actually, I will go to the chest. No. No, I won't. We're going to get a little funky with this. Wait, how can I craft a cactus toy? I do have the cactus. It is on me and now I feel ridiculous. Okay. Well, we have resolved that particular problem. Uh, am I going to frame this in cactus? No, I don't think so. Uh, I will take cactus doors. I will take a cactus workbench. And... Not a, not a bathtub. I will take a cactus chair. Uh, so that is going to turn that into valid housing. Um, we'll grab a couple of cactus lanterns. Two of those. couple of lamps while I'm at it so this one is gonna be a little more colorful than the rest of the house but it is a greenhouse so we'll, we'll make it fancy okay so I need right here okay, now is where we come in and craft our platforms why can't I craft a cactus platform because apparently I need a workbench for that. Yep, cactus platforms. Just go ahead and give myself a nice supply. I wound up actually carrying a lot more cactus than I thought I would. We are going to. Whoa, carefully now. Place one right there, and we're gonna kind of stair step this. I say this will be probably day bloom, this will probably be like blink root. And then I'll have like shiver thorn, death weed, all the other stuff that I that doesn't get used for quite as many potions, as far as I know, at least. Okay, that looks good. Now we can come right down here. That should be good. I'm going to leave this spot open. Uh-oh, there's an asymmetry here. Okay, I can fix this. I can fix this. I didn't do any real counting. So I don't know if these are even or odd spaces. That looks better. So I'll probably, well actually, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, that, that definitely looks right. Uh, so, lamp. Yeah, 
and we'll drop a lamp. And then once we get up here, I'm gonna go ahead and lantern and lantern. I wanna give this place a little bit of lighting. Um, let's go ahead and put down the workbench. The workbench is gonna go here. The chair is gonna go right next to it. Uh, the other thing I need, because this will be our potion brewing setup, uh, to craft potions in particular, you need one more pseudo crafting station, we'll call it. Uh, you have to take an empty bottle and you have to put it on top of the workbench, uh, and that'll turn it into kind of an alchemy station. Eventually, there are upgrades to that, but for the moment, just like so. So now that's ready for potion crafting when I need it. I uh, don't need any other crafting stations, I don't think. The only other thing I'll do, well, after I place the doors down, door, and door, this should be valid housing. Yes, good. So, once morning starts up, we'll get our, uh, what is his name? I can't remember, the painter in, uh, and yeah, he'll help kind of just round things, polish things off a little bit. Uh, so, not the prettiest house, it's kind of a mishmash right now, but it's it's prettier than it once was and I've got uh, you know not a box house per se uh, still a little bit boxy on the rooms here but they are uh, just fine for now I say I, I can live with this I'm not dissatisfied I was going to grab just a couple more cactus torches or lanterns I mean uh, because the way I'm gonna set this up I'm gonna have some ingredient chests down here. Uh, okay, well, I done goofed. I thought I could mount these just with the platforms here, but I cannot. Although, actually, can I just place like a cactus block? Thing. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, look at that. It gives it a nice little support effect, too. Uh, and that'll allow me to mount that there. Mount that there. And then I still have the spaces required to put down some chests. So I'm going to put some chests here. They'll hold all of my seeds and ingredients and such. And then I can put the potions right next to this. Uh, or over here. Either way I want to go. Um, but it gives me plenty of room for items uh, specifically related to the potions. And, yeah, okay. So still not 100%, but we are virtually there. All I have left is to really just kind of round this out. I don't have enough gray brick wall to just kind of coat that in gray brick wall, which is the plan. Again, it's going to be just kind of a storage area. That's where probably the crafting stations will go to. Um, but I'll refloor everything here and we'll be good. Uh, but for now, I think I am A-OK -okay to call this done. Room for all of the NPCs plus one more. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be good to go. I'll have another building project uh, in probably not too long, uh, but I might just do that off camera and just kind of show you when I'm done. But I think this is where I gracefully bow out. I appreciate everybody sticking with me for a little bit of a different episode. Uh, once I get everything cut up and edited, I don't know how long this one will actually wind up being. Uh, it may be a little shorter, probably not a little longer. Uh, but either way, I appreciate everybody being around. Uh, at, at, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All of that will help me grow my channel. That's right, it's shilling time. I've been here for, what, this marks episode 7, which is two full weeks of videos that I've posted, so I feel like at this point I've settled in. It's time to shill. It's time to see if I can get some people in. So at that point, all of your support is always appreciated, and we will catch you in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. Oh, actually, nope, nope, nope. Take all of that back. We just got interrupted. The dryad just showed up. So we did get a new NPC, so two, two seconds. Uh, she sells nature-y kind of things, so grass walls, flower walls. I actually will probably use a good bit of this. Looks like a few accessories. These are actually summoning items. This will be outstanding for uh, making some money. But I'll look more into her once I get there. And uh, yeah, we'll check all of that out on episode eight. We're almost on to episode eight, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great day.